My name is Ken Robertson. I'm a developer with Intelligent Systems. Here to show you today a quick overview of how to get up and going with Graffiti CMS in only a matter of a couple minutes. Here you can see I've downloaded the Beta 1 release of Graffiti and extracted it to a folder on my local computer. I've already set up a domain where I can upload the site on my hosting provider. And now all I need to do is upload all the content to my site and then we're ready to go. So here I've connected and I'll just be uploading it over FTP. Graffiti is about seven and a half megabytes, so on your average uh, broadband connection, it'll take about three or four minutes to upload it. During that time, you could go grab a snack, use the restroom, or feel free to check out and get some additional information about graffiti. Here you can go to graffitiCMS.com to get more information about the features and functionality available in graffiti, and some more information about our progress, the release dates, and what additional things are available. Also, you could check out the docs.graffitiCMS.com site. Here it has a series of quick starts and knowledge base information to really get you, get you set up and going um, once your site's ready. You can find information about how to customize themes, um, some of the different more advanced functionalities such as custom fields, the workflow, and user management. And it also has specialized information for whether you're uh, doing designer, your developer, or if you have some issues, you could check out our knowledge base to find information about issues that have come up. By default, Graffiti uses uh, a basic file system type database. Beta 1 was based on Access, an Access database, where uh, Beta 2 and later will be based on Vista DB. Additionally, Graffiti supports SQL Server and MySQL for uh, a SQL database backend. For most sites, the basic file system database will be quite sufficient. Uh, the more advanced SQL databases are only really needed for higher volume sites, as they'll give uh, higher performance and easier backup and data migration scenarios. So now here you can see our upload is done. If we refresh our connection to my site, you can see that here all the files are now available. So let's go ahead and switch over to our browser. Open up a new tab and check out our new site. By default, Graffiti will uh, connect to a quick start sample database, which shows some of the content from our docs.graffitiCMS.com site. But we actually want to start with our own fresh, empty database. So here, in the config folder, you'll find the connectionstrings.config. If you open that up, you can quickly take out the docs portion of this line, and then it'll tell the site to start using the empty database. So if we go ahead and upload that back to our site, come back here and reload, and now our site is just an empty blank page, as we don't have any posts in this new system. So here, let's go ahead and log in and start working with the system. You want to go to the graffiti admin subdirectory. And the default user account is admin with the password change underscore me. When first connecting to the site, it's always recommended that you change the default password. So we're going to go in here and edit the default user really quick. And I'll just give it my own password. You could also take the opportunity to change the common name for the user. Or if you go back, you could create uh, a username with your own name, like Ken or K. Robertson, or whatever you prefer. You can be Ken if you want. But now, let's go ahead and add some content to our site. So we're going to go here and write our first post. Now here you can see we can assign a category to post. By default, posts will be uncategorized, meaning they won't show up in the regular parts of the site, only if you directly link to it somewhere. So we're going to go ahead and assign this to a category, and we can name it blog. So we'll add that category, and then save this post. Now if we go back to our site and reload, our post is instantly available. We can go check it out, leave some comments, and there, now we have our first piece of content. 
But now this, this side over here is looking a little blank. We don't really have uh, much of a sidebar on our site yet. So let's go ahead and, and spice that up a little bit. We'll go back to the administration. Go here to uh, presentation. <clears throat> and let's go ahead and add a widget. Now I love my Xbox 360, so I'm going to go ahead and add a quick gamer tag to it. So here I go, add a gamer tag widget, <clears throat> input my gamer tag, and I'll put it on the right side. So here you go, boom, my gamer tag is now available, and it has my rather low gamer score. Now let's add a few others just to simply add a little bit more extra to that side. So we're going to we're going to have it list our most recent posts. We'll go ahead and put that there. We want to list our categories. And we can even add a, a, a link it to my Twitter account where I can put in my latest tweets. And we'll put that uh, under my gamer score. Here you can see that we can quickly and easily drag these around and it instantly updates their location on the website. So here, re reload. And boom, it's available. But now I don't really like this. I want something a little bit spicier for my for my site's layout. So I want to upload a theme. By default, graffiti comes with a couple themes out of the box. Though I actually deleted them so that I can show how easy it is to upload another theme that you might find. So here, one of the other intelligent system developers named Rich Mercer. He's uh, converted a few free CSS templates over to graffiti themes. And I really like this one here called Stylized. So I'm going to add it to my site. So I just go here and download it where it's all self-contained in a small XML file, everything you need. And I can go here to my site and quickly and easily upload it. Select it, click Upload. And now it's available right here. Just click on it. And my theme is switched. And now I got this nice stylish site and I'm good to go. <clears throat> but now, I want a page about me. You know, I don't want people to have to go and find the first post to my blog where I give, you know, information about who I am. So I'm going to create a post that provides some information about me. And I'm going to leave it here in the uncategorized section because I don't want it to show up in my regular post list, but I want to directly link to it somewhere on my site. And also I'm going to go here to the settings tab and I'm going to turn off comments because I, I don't really want people to be able to comment on my about me page. So I'm going to publish that. And here we could easily link to it and see it on here, but it's not going to be referenced anywhere within my site. So here I go over to presentation and navigation. And I can easily add it to the navigation on my site. So here it'll show up now on this top bar. And I can either add a direct link, like if I want to link to my photos on my Flickr site. Oops. And now that one will show up as well. And I can even drag them around to change the order. And here, click on it, and there's my About Me page. Or you can click on Photos, and it'll take you to my Flickr page. One of the other distinguishing things about Graffiti is that it allows um, for a revision system. So here, we're going to go in, and we want to add some additional information to this About Me post. We'll go ahead and update that. And now on this post list, you can see it says revision two. So when you're viewing, if, when you're editing the post, you can actually see the history of this post as it's evolved and as you've changed it. To where you can easily roll back to previous versions if you made a mistake, or uh, create new versions that aren't yet published on your site, because it allows an advanced workflow process and management through multiple users. But now our Graffiti CMS site is ready to go. So you can go ahead and check out some more advanced options where you can easily uh, manage files directly through Graffiti without having to ever touch the file system. Or you can even go in, customize the comments, add your Acusmet ID, and instantly be protected for comment spam. 
but overall you're ready to go. So thanks a lot for this quick over overview of Graffiti CMS. Feel free to check, lo to check it out at our graffiticms.com site to learn more about it. Thank you very much. Boom, 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 boom.